Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at nouns. Let's go. Now, what are nouns? Nouns are people, places, animals, things, or ideas. For example, person, blossom, hold. Place, Chantilly. Animal, dog. Thing, chair. Idea, freedom. Now we're going to look at the types of nouns. Proper nouns, common nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns, Compound nouns, countable nouns, uncountable nouns, abstract nouns, possessive nouns, and collective nouns. Proper nouns. Proper nouns are the exact names for people places, or things. Proper nouns are unique words that we use for people, places, or things. Now, proper nouns always start with a capital letter no matter where they fall in a sentence. It is very important to be able to identify proper nouns because it will help you with correct capitalization when writing. For example, a person, Sandra, place, Manchester, thing, war and peace, which is the name of a book. Now we're going to look at these same nouns that begins with the capital letter in some sentences. Sandra lives in Manchester, Jamaica. She is currently reading the book War and Peace written by Nikki Stone. We always use a capital letter for the first letter of a name or proper noun. These includes names of people, places, companies, holidays, names of brands, titles of people, titles of works, days of the week, and months. Now we're going to look at some examples. Names of people. Makai Solomon, Jerome Ellington, Irene Henry. Places. Jamaica, United Arab Emirates, Bahamas. Companies, Amazon. Walmart, Apple, Days of the Week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Months of the Year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, Eid, Boxing Day, Labor Day, Ramadan. Names of brands, Nike, Adidas, Mountain Dew. Titles of people, Dr. Stephen, 
President Obama, Father Abraham, Sir Elton John, Titles of Works, Curious George, which is the title of a book, Superman, which is a TV show, The New York Times, which is the name of a newspaper, Titanic, which is the name of a movie, Baby Shark, the title of a song, My Teacher, the title of a poem. It is very important to note that proper nouns refer to specific unique things. So nouns like Jupiter, a specific planet, Friday, a specific day of the week, and Christianity, a specific religion are proper nouns. Titles and names of creative works are also proper nouns. For example, The Light by artist Mikhail Solomon. Now, let us look at common nouns. Common nouns are the general name for people, places, or things in a class or group. Common nouns are not capitalized unless they are at the beginning of a sentence or appear in a title. For example, grandmother is in the kitchen. In this sentence, grandmother is at the beginning of the sentence, so it must begin with a capital letter, although it's a common noun. I saw grandmother in the kitchen. Now here, grandmother is not capitalized because it is a common noun and it is not at the beginning of the sentence. The title of the poem is Grandmother. Here, Grandmother is capitalized because it is the title of a poem. Here are some examples of common nouns. People. Mother, father, baby, child, girl, boy, toddler, teenager, grandmother, student, teacher, minister, business person, sales clerk, woman, man. Animals, lion, tiger, bear, dog, cat, cricket, alligator, bird, wolf. Things, table, truck, book, pencil, iPad, computer, coat, boots, hat, places, city, state, country, continent, coffee shop, restaurant, park, zoo, ideas, envy, love, hate, respect, pride. Now we're going to look at Common nouns versus proper nouns. Common nouns don't have a specific name. Proper nouns have a specific name. So, I'm going to look at the common nouns and then a proper noun that goes for the common noun. Girl, Dawn, Boy, Jerome, Woman, Nikki, Man, Samuel, Daughter, Paulette, Son, Orlan, Doctor, 
Dr. Jones. Teacher, Mrs. Henry. Country, Armenia. City, Kingston. Continent, Africa. Street, Lake Street. Ocean, Pacific Ocean. River, Nile. Author, Mikhail Solomon. Book, Diary of the Wimpy Kid. School, Bounty Hall Primary. Language, Spanish. Mountain, Mount Everest. Biscuit, Oreo. Restaurant, Food and Fun. Restaurant. Car, Mercedes Benz. Month, March. Day, Tuesday. Cat, Furry. Dog, Ginger. Now we're going to look at singular nouns. A singular noun names one person, place, thing, or idea. Some examples of singular nouns. Dog, cat, house, tree, apple, baby, city, computer. Now, plural nouns names more than one person, place, thing, or idea. For example, trees, lakes, movies, umbrellas, candies, girls, snacks, burgers, computers, entries. There are many plural noun rules. The accurate spelling of plural nouns frequently depends on what letter the singular noun ends in. To make regular nouns plural, add S at the end. For example, dog, dogs, house, houses. In the singular noun, if the singular noun ends in S, SS, SH, CH, X, Z, add ES to the end to make it plural. For example, bus, buses, dress, dresses, brush, brushes, church, churches, fox, Foxes. To pass. To passes. It's important to know that in some circumstances, singular nouns ending in S or Z require that you double the S or Z prior to adding the ES for pluralization. For example, fez, fezes, gas, gases. If the noun ends with F or FE, the F is often changed to VE before adding the S to make it plural. For example, knife. Knives, wolf, wolves. Some exceptions, roof, roofs. Believe, believes. Chef, chefs. Chief, chiefs. If a single noun ends in Y and the letter before the Y is a consonant, change the Y to I-E-S to make it plural.
For example, city, cities, puppy, puppies. However, if the singular noun ends in Y and the letter before the Y is a vowel, only add an S to make it plural. For example, Ray, rays, boy, boys. If the singular noun ends in O, add ES to make it plural. Potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes. Exceptions. Photo, photos, piano, pianos. Halo, halos. With the word volcano, you can add only S or ES. Volcanoes with ES or volcano with only S. If the singular noun ends in US, drop the US and add I to make it plural. Kakai, focus, fokai. If the singular noun ends in is, the plural ending is es. Analysis, analysis. Ellipsis, ellipsis. If the singular noun ends in on, the plural ending is a. Phenomenon, phenomena. Criterion, criteria. Some nouns don't change at all when they are pluralized. For example, sheep, sheep. Series, series. Species, species. Dare, dare. Now let's look at compound nouns. Now let's look at compound nouns. Compound nouns are two or more words that have been grouped together to make a new word that has a different individual meaning. For example, living room. Cupcake, father-in-law. Now we're going to look at countable nouns. Countable nouns are things that we can count. They can be singular or plural. For example, dog, cat, animal, man, person, bottle, box, liter, coin, Note, dollar, cup, plate, fork, table, chair, suitcase, bag. Now we're going to look at uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are substances, concept, etc. that we cannot count. They are seen as a whole or mass. For example, names for groups or collections of things, furniture, equipment, rubbish, luggage, ideas and experiences, advice, information, progress, news, luck, fun, work, love, understanding, materials and substances, water, rice, concrete, gold, milk, honey, tea, weather words, weather, thunder, lightning, rain, snow. Now we're going to look at abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are things that you cannot experience with the five senses. 
You cannot see, smell, hear, taste, or touch abstract nouns. For example, happiness, sadness, anger, surprise, disgust, joy, fear, anxiety, hope, religion, science, experimentation, research, creativity, kindness, greed, laziness, effort, speed, concentration, confusion, dizziness, time, situation, death, law, opportunity, technology, discovery, hopelessness, defeat, friendship, patient, holiness, youth, childhood. Now we're going to look at possessive nouns. Possessive nouns show possession or belonging. A possessive noun is formed by adding an apostrophe S to the noun. If the noun is plural and already ends in S, only an apostrophe needs to be added. For example, the boy's bag is in the tree. In the sentence, boys is a possessive noun modifying bag. The boy's bag is in the tree. It is clear that the bag belongs to the boy. The apostrophe S shows ownership. Examples of possessive nouns. Cassandra's book. Manchester's climate, baby's shoes, woman's clothes. Now we're going to look at collective nouns. Collective nouns are words used to represent a group of people, animals, or things. Some examples of collective nouns are flock, crowd, Committee, choir, group, team. Some examples of collective nouns used for people. A band of musicians. A board of directors. A choir of singers. A class of students. A crowd of people. A gang of thieves. A pack of thieves. A panel of experts, a team of players, a troupe of dancers. Some examples of collective nouns used for animals. An army of ants, a flock of birds, a flock of sheep, a herd of deer, a hive of bees. A litter of puppies, a murder of crows, a pack of hounds, a pack of wolves, a school of fish, a team of horses, a pride of lions. Some examples of collective nouns used for things. A bouquet of flowers. A bunch of flowers, a flea of sh ships, a forest of trees, a galaxy of stars, a pack of cards, a pack of lies, a pair of shoes, a range of mountains, a wad of notes. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Now you can look in the description and you will find many more videos to help with grammar. And also in the description, there will be videos related to reading. Thank you very much everyone. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.